Here's the same problem set up by hand. First we'll create our number lines along the horizontal axis for converting time. The first number line will be for minutes, and the second for seconds. All have a left boundary of zero, and we want to find the number of minutes and seconds that are equal to one hour. Because there are 60 minutes in one hour, one hour times 60 is 60 minutes. Because there are 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes times 60 is 3600 seconds, so one hour equals 3600 seconds. Next we'll create our number lines along the vertical axis for converting distance. Because the English to metric conversion I know best is inches to centimeters, we'll need to work from miles, to feet, to inches, to centimeters, and finally to meters. All the number lines will have a lower boundary of zero, and we'll want to find all the distances that are equal to 60 miles. Because there are 5,280 feet in a mile, I multiply 60 by 5,280 to get 316,800 feet. Because there are 12 inches in a foot, I multiply 316,800 by 12 to get 3,801,600 inches. Now, because 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters, I multiply 3,801,600 by 2.54 to get 9,656,064 centimeters. Lastly, because 100 centimeters is 1 meter, I divide 9,656,064 centimeters by 100 to get 96,560.64 meters. With my time and distance conversions complete, I can use the fact that 60 miles is 96,560.64 meters and one hour is 3600 seconds to rewrite 60 miles per hour. Unsimplified, the conversions work out to be 96,560.64 meters per 3600 seconds. To simplify that result, I can divide and rewrite that as 26.8224 meters per second.